So what you need is a dip brow pomade and I'm using from Anastasia Beverly Hills. One creamy concealer and the one I'm using is from Flor Mar. And then you need some kind of um, brow gel and I'm using the brow tamer from Urban Decay. And two angled brushes. One for the dip brow pomade and one for the concealer. So I'm always starting with um, the dip brow pomade but I'm using teeny teeny tiny tiny amount of product on the brush so I can just build it up. And today I will be using two colors which is very unnecessary to be honest. But that's what I did and you can do the, I recommend though that you use one that is just your shade right away and I will just be adding on trying to get the shape I'm always starting on the under part of the brow and just building it out and now I'm just focusing on the outer part to get a nice little angle there I have very straight brows naturally so I'm just creating a little angle on it like arch and as soon as you do something that you don't like you just put a little concealer on the brush and just clean it out. And I want to keep the, the down line of the brow pretty sharp and nice, but the upper part I would like to keep a little bit, not smudged out, but not too sharp. But the outer part of my brows, I always want to have it a little bit darker and more intense and sharp. I'm keeping the front a little bushy. Bush, bush. And we all know that the hard part about doing brows is getting them both to look kind of similar to each other and that is always a struggle uh, as well as when you do a wing liner or anything that the two has to be the same but I always do as close as I can and you know what it's just makeup here like almost all the time I didn't feel like the brow I don't feel like the brow is so like the same like the other so I'm cleaning up and trying to change whatever it is and that might be out of place to make them both look more similar. And for me, I think today the right one was a little bit shorter and I made the left one a little bit longer so I'm just trying to make them look a little bit more alike. But remember, the brows are not twins, they are sisters. So, and also the thing is that when you talk, you always move your brows much more than you actually realize. So, unless they're like ridiculously uneven, I'm pretty sure nobody will notice. And this is important for me with tiny little, I just have so little brows, so I want to make them almost stand up in the front. So it looks like I have more bushy brows than I actually have. And there you have it. Just brush them up and that's it. These are my brows. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.